All right, like, welcome to the place value video on understanding how to read whole numbers. And what that means is understanding that it, when you have a number like this, 3,245, each digit in this number, depending on where it is, that's it will tell you what value it is. The three is like four numbers away from the right, the five is all the way on the right, the four is two spaces or two places over, the two is three places over from the from the right. So depending on what place these digits are in, that'll tell you the value of them. So let me rewrite this number just a little bit more spread out. The three, the two hundred, the forty, and the five. Okay, so if I take this number, I'm gonna every time I have a, a group of three numbers on the right, I have to separate e each number, each group of three by a, a comma. But we'll talk about that. Let's take a look at this number. Our five is in the place known as the ones place. All right, that's the same thing as if you had a, a base ten blocks and you had five little cubes. All right, let's just call that the ones. You can write it like that or with the ones like that. The four is not in the ones. This four right here, it's, it's, it's bigger than the five because it's in the tens place, all right? So let's call that the tens place. This would be the same thing as having four of those 10 blocks on the base 10. Three, four, all right? Let's pretend that each one of these is 10. So four in the tens place gives me, in tens place, gives me 40. This would be 40 right here. 40 plus five ones is 45. Two is not in the ones or the tens, but two is in its own place known as the hundreds. Let me fix my pen here. Hundreds place. Now this is like the big flat uh, big flat sheets on your base 10 block that has a hundred units and if I have two of them let's pretend this is a hundred 200 units would be 200 so let's put hundreds of units hundreds 200 and lastly but not least is my three in my thousands place so the, the value is a th is a thousand and the place or the place is a, a three and the value is a thousand Let's see, thousands. And this is like those, uh, the big cubes that are the big bricks that have a thousand in them. Let's say I have three of those. One, two, three. And each one is a thousand. Okay, so three of these big thousand blocks would be 3,000. So that's the thousands place. So the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. What place value is your four in? Oh, it's in the tens place. What value place value is your three in? Oh, it's in the thousands place. What place value is the five in? Oh, the five is in the ones place, okay? So let's try a bigger number and see what we can do. All right, so here we have a little bit of a bigger number, um, but what I want you to take pay attention to uh, first off is notice there are these commas are. Every group of three numbers, you have to separate by a comma. Okay, but you start from going to the right, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Don't start from the left. Notice I didn't go one, two, three, and then put a comma. The commas start from the right going to the left, okay? Because that's how you go from smallest to biggest. And then each group that we have here, it's called a period, all right? So we didn't really do that with the last one because we didn't really have a whole lot of groups, a whole lot of periods. But we're gonna, we're gonna label each one of these periods first off, okay? So let's call this right here, wrong color. Let's call this number, are units, units period, units. Let's call this one, these are all my thousands, like my, my 1,000, my 10,000, and my 100,000. Let's call this period my thousands period. Thousands, and what comes after thousands? Or, yeah, after thousands, Big next bigger group is my million, six million. This is my one million, ten million, and hundred million. We're gonna talk about the other those in particular in just a second. Millions, and then what's bigger than millions? Bigger than millions is billions. And notice I don't have three in here, but that's okay. You might be saying, but I I thought it has to have three. 
you put a new comma after you come up with when you get an, another three. So if I were to put another number here and then one more number, I would have to put a comma right there. Like if this was a one and then I put a, a three right here, then my comma would have to go right there. But I'm not gonna do that though. I'm, I wanna just stick with the, this number right here. All right, now each period has something in common. Okay, it's set apart, it's set for three spaces, three places in the period. So I'm just gonna call this my ones. We talked about that. My ones. I'm gonna call this one my zeros and my tens. Even though it's a zero, it's it's still a place value. I have zero tens. Okay, you can, that's how you would say that. And my five is in my hundreds. I'm gonna write it out, hundreds. And so I'll put hundreds like that. Okay, so instead of writing out thousands, really this four right here, it's one thousands place, the one thousands place. So I'm just gonna put a, a zero for one, okay? And then I'll just write thousands place. And this eight, instead of writing 10,000, I'm just gonna write T for 10, for 10,000. You do the place and then the period. And I'm gonna put 10, thousands place. Eight in the ten thousands place, that's eighty thousand. Nine, um, instead of writing hundred thousand out like this, I'm just gonna put H for hundreds because it's hundred, but it's in the thousand period. So I'm just gonna write hundred thousands. Okay, now we get to our millions period. Same thing. Six is in my one million. So one in the six is six million. I'm not going to write it because it's going to be too many zeros. Um, but the three would be in my 10, T for 10, millions, the place and then the period. My one would be in my 100 millions. Okay, do the same thing with billion. The seven is in the one billion place value. The two is in the 10 billion place value and we don't have anything in the hundreds um, but you could say zeros in the hundreds billions hundred billions place value so the way we would read this is follow along 27 billion 136 million 984,502 all right so that's reading whole numbers. We're going to be looking at how to write them in our next video.